Hey guys, it's week 15 in the NFL. Week 15, aka second round of the playoffs. Both playoffs, dog shirt and that. Jordan went over most of that, so we're going to probably glaze over. I'm just going to give you the Bush League news, what you need to know. Uh, first, uh, Star Wars is not going to be a Bush event because there's so many spoilers and people's schedules are messed up. And I talked to Jordan last night and we just... I'm going tonight. I don't know when Jordan's going. Um, you got to... You gotta go. There's spoilers everywhere. I, I can't even get on Facebook, Twitter, anything. I'm kind of like, I think I have an addiction problem to social media because I'm Jonesin. Like, I'm Jonesin. So, Man in the High Castle, TV shows. Jeff, Rob, let me know when you finish them, please. Uh, Matt's got it. He's watching it, too. How great is that show? Because I just want to, uh, it's, it's just so good. It's so good. Uh, and, okay, next up, Mike sent me a video. It seems similar to the one he made a couple years ago, but... You know, it's a little different this year. I think he really, I think he's really, you know, understood that he's going to win dog shirt. Uh, take it away, Mike. But I'm making this video on my phone for one reason. Because take a good look at this face right now. See that hair? See these eyes can't open all the way? Hung over as fuck? This is what you're going to look like, Dale. This is what you're going to look like. After celebrating no dog shirt. Last year, we all know what happened. I fell apart. Playoffs. Everyone said that it wasn't my cup of tea. Not this year. Just kidding. I'm going to lose and end up going dog shirt bowl. And all you motherfuckers are going to fucking hate me. I'm going to strut around town wearing a fucking dog shirt every day for the next year. And I'm hate it. Just had to put this out there, let you guys know what's going on. Good luck to you guys. Because I won dog shirt. Mike seems to understand that he's going to win dog shirt now. So anyway, uh, moving on, I got some footage from beer tasting. Uh, what we did is we did uh, ice tasting, really, is what I should say. Uh, natural ice, Bud Ice, Michelob Ultra. I know that's not nice, but that was just a landmine. Um, Molson Ice and Labatt Ice and Keystone Ice. Now, as you will see from the videos, um, Keystone was the most foul piece of shit one Nobody liked it. Everyone could clearly tell that this was a bad one. Uh, the only person that did like it was Jordan, and it's because uh, TJ said it's because he likes Coors. So I assume, Mike, if you ever want an ice, you're going to love Keystone. Uh, Jordan loves Keystone if he needs an ice. Uh, those are his. Everybody else, though, um, top number one ice, bar none, clearly set apart from all the others, uh, Labatt Ice. Uh, surprisingly enough, Labatt Ice was the best tasting, and everyone liked it, so... Bush League pro tip, if you ever need a nice, grab a Labatt. Or Molson. Molson was right behind that one, but um, the rest of them weren't bad. Uh, Michelob Ultra tastes like water. Literally no flavor, no nothing. Uh, so uh, I'm going to let it roll to the footage. You're going to see some of our beer tasting and uh, what happened last week. What rank is this in terms of what we thought it was? 5.6. This was the, it was, I guess, tied for four, for three. Yeah. Tied for third best. Bud Ice. Oh, okay. Okay, well, he so was right. So Jordan was right. Jordan was, was right. right. I got one. I per that's the only one you're gonna get. It is a Canadian beer, and the oh. reason it's an asterisk is because I'm very impartial, as it's the sign says behind you. Damn, it it's the old bat. The great and glorious. Damn, bat. I knew it was. And like I said, knows it's the best tasting. Dude, I knew it. Yeah. Still got Still it. bad ice is Still the got highest it. ranking. Very surprised that the Canadian beers had the most flavor and were the best tasting. The, yeah. the two beers we liked the most were the Canadians, seven point five yep. and seven point two. Canadians want to make their beer. I, I, and I of thought course, they do. I give you Michelob Ultra. Whoa! Oh, really? Okay. Interesting. Oh, okay. Man, right. that has no taste at all. Zero. Nothing. It doesn't. It tastes like water. And that's yeah. when I taste it. I'm that like, was oh good if I'm like, on a canoeing no trip. Taste. Kayaking. Oh, my God. If it's a keystone. Oh, it's got to be the keystone. Oh, that's what it is. It is the most foul, awful thing. And I oh, God so damn. Oh, this stuff. This stuff. Me and Rob. Me and Rob called it. I knew it. Keystone. I knew all right. it. Keystone. All right. So... Um, moving on to this week, uh, during the Sunday night game, uh, we're doing malt liquor tasting. Yes, malt liquor. You know, the ones you play Edward Forty Hands with? I think, yeah. Any, anyway, malt liquor, uh, is gonna be this week's tasting. Now, everyone is responsible for bringing one. And please refer to the Bush League, um, whatever. So, I'm claiming Colt 45. I will be purchasing a 40 of Colt 45 for us to taste test. So, now the rest of you who will be participating, please write in the comments below the video 
which one you're going to bring. I will comment that I am bringing Colt 45. You will comment what you're bringing. Once someone posts that, please do not bring that. We get a different one. Um, and I didn't realize how, be careful tasting, because I didn't realize how fucked up I got on those ices. Jesus Christ. It, all that tasting, I was just like, just dunzo, dunzo. Um, Mike, you, ha Mike was the final Montezumas. He made no picks and now he's up to 13. Mike, you have a lot of tequila shots to take between now and draft day. So good luck with that. Uh, moving on. Uh, so we're going to look at the Bush League. Uh, this week, the Craft Fight Hunger Bowl. This is the dog shirt bowl bracket. Austin versus Jeff for, as you may have forgotten, because Mike took no advantage of this. The crown is still here. The king of the shits. Jeff and I are playing for the king of the shits. Uh, whoever wins gets to write their name on the crown and become king of the shits. Uh, I don't know what this entails. Mike really didn't do anything with his reign. I'll figure something out if I win. Uh, like, nothing like I'm going to, like, make you eat shit or anything like that. Like, that's not what... Just fun. It's something fun. It's something fun. That's it. It's nothing bad or, like, the dog shirt. Uh, the Buffalo Wild Wings Bowl, which is... For the people who are not playing in the playoffs that were in the playoff bracket, Matt and Chris, good luck to both of you. Uh, you're just playing for fun. It's to keep it's to keep you going one more fantasy week. Just you know, that's what we like to do. We like to keep everyone going one more week. Uh, all right, Bush Bowl. We're gonna move into. I'm just gonna preview. We have Jordan, or well, oh no, this is just what I think is gonna happen. I got listen. TJ TJ and Jordan are, are interesting matchup. I'm not two in favor of TJ's team. I think Jordan's going to move on. As for the other matchup, I hope to Jesus that Nubs wins, but Nubs luck... Ha I'm one of those weirdos that thinks that, like, probability will eventually get you. Like, the Patriots. They're going to go undefeated and win the Super Bowl against the Giants. I'm like, no, they're not. They, you have to lose. Math, you have to lose. That's my motto. Math, you have to lose. I think that the Panthers are not going to win the Super Bowl because they're eventually going to lose, and hopefully it's in the playoffs. Um... I think that Nubs eventually has to lose a game that matters, and I think Rob's going to do it. Uh, I, do I want Rob, win? Rob, I've told you a dozen times, I, I do not want you to win because you will be insufferable. Making a 30-for-30 30 30 with you is going to be crazy. By the way, we're going to make a 30-for-30. i got to start getting footage. Someone remind me to start doing that on Sundays. We have the whole playoff season, two to do that. Um, so, yeah, I got, I got Rob and Jordan in the finals. We'll preview that if it happens. Uh, I really don't care who comes out of the East. I would prefer Jordan because I don't want three-peat, and I would prefer Nubs for said reasons. Um, my dog shirt prediction, Mike is playing Derek. Tavon Austin just wrecked Mike this Thursday. So, Mike, you need a fucking you need a Christmas miracle. Mike's going to the dog shirt playoffs. That's... He might even win it all. His team is just awful. He's it's team's poop. His team's poop. Uh, and then you have Chinny and Dale. Uh, Chinny magic could work, and I really hope it does because I would love to see Dale in the dog shirt bowl, sweating it, going, uh, uh, and I would love to see Mike beat him. Um, but uh, my dog shirt, what I would like to see is Derek and Dale. Uh, what I'm, what my prediction is, is Mike and Chinny. And I'm going to say Mike wins it all. I don't even need to preview next week. It doesn't matter who Mike's playing. Mike's team is bad. NFL schedule, including ours. Uh, no 1 o'clock, 4 o'clock games. I got that birthday party to go to. Uh, yeah, the one that was postponed. Uh, the Packers aren't televised, so who cares? And uh, we'll move on. Uh, the 506 said that the two games we'd be watching is either Patriots, Titans on CBS, or... Bears Vikings on Fox. Bears Vikings could turn out to be a good game, but I don't even give a shit. I I'm sleeping in. I this is the one day I'm gonna be able to sleep in this week. I'm gonna just sleep in until probably after the one o'clock game. So, and then we'll roll out of bed and go to this birthday. But we are doing Sunday night. Don't forget. Uh, other one o'clock games: Panthers Giants. Mike's Panthers are playing the Giants. People seem to think Downs. I get, people at work made a bet that Downs is going to win that game. I don't foresee it, but you never know. This is the bizarro NFL. Uh, Falcons, Jags. Jordan, I got to say, I'm rooting for the Jags. I want them to make the playoffs. I really do. Um, your team is not doing well right now. Uh, it's nothing against you or your team. I, I would like to see the Falcons make the playoffs, but the Jags have a much better chance, which I never thought I'd be saying that in Week 15. Uh, 4 o'clock, Packers, Oakland. Ah, oh, come on, Pack. 
You gotta keep keep it rolling. Keep let's keep the good vibes are rolling. Cause I think you have the Cardinals next week. Uh Broncos or Browns Hawks, that's Jerry's Hawks. And then Sunday night, while we do malt liquor tasting, uh Cards versus Eagles. Could be a real good game. Chip Kelly, uh Bruce Arians, I like that matchup. Uh Monday is I won't I'll have to be at work. Um Lions versus Saints. Uh, so y you guys can talk amongst yourselves if you want to go do something for that. That's a that's a real big game. Uh, again, quick reminder: no one or four o'clock games. Uh, only a Sunday night game. Start showing up after eight o'clock. Um, what's it called? Also, some good news. Uh, this is this is weird. Uh, tentatively, I was called by my corporate office. I'll be starting a day shift position uh, down at the Henry Ford Hospital System. Uh, January 11th, tentatively, we'll see. I don't know. Uh, but it's a day shift spot, and so we'll see. Uh, it comes at a, you know, would have been nice to have during the football season so I could watch my Monday and Thursday night games, but Packers can't be choosers, right? Right. Anyway, guys, that's it. Uh, set your lineups, everybody, except, uh, you know, really everybody, set your lineups. Come on, we're still playing, we're still playing. Next week, you can all forget about it. Um, good luck, Matt, uh, in your matchup in work league. I'm pulling for the auto-drafters uh, since I'm out. Uh, and, uh, go teams for mentioned in the rest of the video. All right, guys, go pack, go fuck the Seahawks and the saints. And I'll see y'all this Sunday for more liquor tasting. Take it easy guys. Happy Christmas. I said I'm a legend, so I'm a legend.